Hey, Carl, I guess uh, you cut me off or you hung up or something. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, phone call. All right. Well, I just wanted to finish this conversation because, Carl, you know, you know, it okay. may be a joke, but hold on. It may be a joke to some people, but it's my life. Okay? No, listen. You had another phone call. All right. Well, I didn't. Okay, I'm trying to completely understand what you were saying to me earlier. You said that. You said that if you can explain it, because you were saying something like they wanted to taint my name and turn me into something that I'm not. Turn me into a a tramp. Huh? But why? Why, Carl? Why? But who is? But who is trying to? But who is trying to smear? But who is trying to to smear my name? Who? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out the motives as to why these people are going through all this trouble. You know, messing with you as well, you, 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 you also mentioned, but, but, but you also mentioned my, but you mentioned my kids that now they got my kids in it. Yeah. From the beginning. And that's wrong. You know what, Carl, you know, I'm doing everything I can do. You, do you know, I just got off the phone with a family member that kept telling me that I need to be in a doctor. I need to be in a hospital. What is up with that? Why? Why are these? The is, yeah, I'm telling them what's going on with me, and they're totally ignoring. I told you that the woman that raised me, that I thought was my mother, I told you she was in this. I was told this long time ago. She is not my biological mother, huh? Let me ask you a question before you go any further, okay? Because they're trying to say that you know you headed towards another breakdown, which they're hoping for. This is the same thing that the King of Kings did to their uh, sister. So they drove her out of her mind. Well, she was in Europe at the time, actually. Right. And they caught her back here under the guise that they were going to bring her to she had a dentist appointment. Okay. And what they did was they had her admitted to a psychiatric hospital um, and then they lobotomized her. And you know what? So you wonder why the Kennedys have the problems that they have then. So it sounds like the Williams is trying to do to me the same thing that the Kennedys tried to do to their their uh, their own child. Is that what I'm detecting? Is that what I'm sensing? So then you would have to say, so it's fair to say... It's very possible. Listen, you're talking about some, some people, they, don't, they ain't got no scruples. They ain't got no morals. But yet and still, they get up on a pole. But 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 but, but, but again, they they're just like the Williams. They get up on a, a podium and pretend like they're this and that, and they're not. Right. Well, they may be, but you know that don't make them any better than you, I, or the next person. They are. They. You know what? I just. You know what? But but why can't they just leave me alone because of who I am, right? Why can't they just leave you alone because you're a human being, period? Precisely. Precisely. So it wasn't enough that I'm telling her. So uh, it was a, a sister that called me and tried to tell me what I had forgot. I have repressed memory. Something happened very tragically in my life when I was six. I remember screaming. I woke up and I was like in third grade. I don't remember anything. And one of them called me and was bad mouthing the family, saying that, you know, she and another sister knew and that the Williams had been hiding it. So I would have to say Joyce is probably feeling some guilt. And Joyce, the Williams? Yep. The Williams yep. Hide? She's she married into a Williams. She's not my biological mother. And then she's trying to tell me that she is when I know because it was George W. Bush's friend that told me that she wasn't. So Bush is not as much as my enemy as many people would like to say he is. Yeah. Do I think he made some stupid mistakes? Huh? You said what now? Bush. You said Bush. You said Bush. Huh? I 
I said Bush, but I think the older but hold up, but I think the older man is the one that knows Joyce because he's in Texas and Joyce knew the governor. And you know, again, okay, that, that oh, but 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 hold on, I want to get back to that night and you're right, it's more than Okay, but hold on. You're right. You're fa you're you're very right to say this because I've heard this from a person that worked for the federal agency that worked for the Kennedys. Her name was Leah, and she stated, "Carla, there's more than one group of people after you to destroy you." Is that true, Carl? You think? I think so. And I don't necessarily think they're working together either. They're all doing their own. They're all they're all doing their own thing. So, Carl, it would be fair to say that these people are trying to kill me. Wouldn't you think? Well, Wouldn't it be I fair to say that they're trying to... Huh? The hospital or whatever. They don't necessarily want to kill you. They want to consider you mentally incompetent. They want to get clean and turn around and say that all made up. But who is the who who has a problem with me being a Bouvier? I thought it was Peter Morin. I don't know. That's what I thought it was Peter. And the reason I thought it was Peter because everybody's told me it's Peter. Huh? You don't know all the players. But Peter is one of them. Peter is one of them. And the reason he has so much power is because of his alleged drug activity that he has on all of the politicians. Why can't these people just walk oh, away and just I didn't say the, his alleged drug activity, like drug activity, like, you know, d drug uh, dealings, distribution. I don't know. I'm not into drugs. So, you know, w whatever he has been doing. Much, if they stop dealing with drugs, okay, and they start I don't care what they do. At this point, all the thing I care is about getting these people off of me. And all I know is a brother, all I know is a brother called me scared, saying, Carla, until you let go of this grudge against a person, this is not going to stop. I said, no, I'll have my money. It's going to stop. He says, I'm telling you, it's not. And I just decided to call Joyce. And I was trying to tell her, Joyce, I don't have any grudges against you. Even from my past, you know, whatever happened in my childhood, I don't care. I just don't want to get on with my life. Well, that wasn't wasn't good enough with her. And you know, when people are guilty, they slip. Now, don't they, Carl? So I'd have to say Joyce is one of my enemies. Well, she would have to be. She would have to be, Carl. So, are, are you telling me that Joyce is not, or do you think that, that somebody's um, got, got some, hold on, or, or do you think that someone has some pressure on her? What do you think? Okay. Let me just speak my mind. Okay. And that is this. For whatever reason, somebody does not want to recognize as a Bouvier. Period. Do you think it's the Bouviers? Well, I can't say that. I don't think so. I don't think it's the Bouviers. You know, the reporter told me that I was talking to, he said it was not the Kennedys. Now he told me that. Huh? Okay, here's the thing. As a Bouvier. As part of, yeah. I don't think it's the Bouviers, though. Nah, I hear it. That's like you trying to put together a thousand piece puzzle. But I don't think it's the Bouviers, but however, Peter Morin is involved. And that night, when I went to go see Mike, when I was stopped, don't you remember, 
you telling me that I should go because it could he could have some information or the FBI could be next door uh, trying to give him some information. Do you remember get me? Information. Huh? They were trying to get information. From where, me? Through the conversation. What are they trying to get information from? To help me in my case or to, 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 to try to catch somebody? Or what? Well, once again, that's something I really don't know. But that is a form of entrapment. That's how they got that mayor down in Washington, D.C. There, okay, so was the FBI was trying to entrap me? Or are they trying to hope I'd say something about somebody they're investigating? Because they're mad at somebody, and the only person I know that could be is God. It, circle that you're involved in. Please don't tell me I'm not involved in that circle. But I'm not involved in that circle. The, Carl, you said you said yourself. Isn't it odd that all of these men are connected or associated with the same family and possibly all related? Now, isn't that isn't that odd, Carl? Isn't it? On so, do you think Mike, do you think Mike's family did that like I was told? Are they trying to set Mike's family up? Or do you think Mike knew it was happening? Or do you think it was somebody else? Do you think his family stupidly I got involved? Mike, smart. I think Mike was used. That's why he, he told me he didn't, well, he couldn't stand it no more. Don't, don't talk anymore. Now, what part is that skank playing in this? Was that skank a part of that? Or she, she's just being used too? Stupidly. Anybody. I already know she's not. Okay, well, I, I, I don't want even to discuss her. I don't want to discuss her because it's just too embarrassing. Okay. So basically, no. so basically, they're trying to turn me into a, a loose woman. Is that what you're you're saying? What they're trying to do? I would say yeah. Why? Because of who I am. And not that so much as. Uh, who is this guy? I think you said Crusted. I don't like him. Okay. He might know some powerful people. Oh, I'm sure he does. He's been an alleged drug dealer for years. He's he mentioned the he mentioned knowing the Kennedys. I do know that, and he considered Hillary and Bill his uncle. So, do you okay, think? What? He can see, call them Uncle Bill. He says, don't talk about Uncle Bill Clinton and Uncle Hillary Clinton. That's what he stated to me the other day. And I told him he was a racist, and he says, no. But, okay, Carl, I, I, I just have to ask you this. Whatever plan they had, it's not working. Now, is it? No, is it? It's backfiring, isn't it? I would say, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. <sighs> Carl, I'm so tired. Why can't I mean? Is it possible that these men were sent into my life to taint my name? Was isn't it isn't it odd how Jim was in my life all of a sudden, and he's connected to Clubstead and Mike and Rick and Peter? The only option is to pay all this to a head or walk away. Walk away? Do you know how many times I've walked away? I've walked away. They won't leave me alone, Carl. Come on. Okay, I hear you. Well, you talking about walk away? Hell, I've walked. Come on, okay. Be honest. If I just had some money, I mean, walk, walk away is pretty obvious. They don't want me to have my money. I I ask Mike to help me to get to the cake. You get your money another way. How? Put in your lineage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna have to get my get my DNA done and everything because you know these people are just. I don't want any. Thing to do with them, so don't tell me to walk away. I might, I don't contact these people. I call Richard Clubstead, trying to plead with this guy to stop, and he doesn't hear me. He doesn't. It just it's pointless. It's just totally pointless. And I think it was a game that they started, and I think they've taken it too far.
I think Richard was mad because I didn't want him in my life anymore. I mean, he chose to be with this monster. And I told him, I said, well, a woman of my caliber is not going to wait. And then he turns around and lies and says that he asked me to live with him. And he did. And I told him, no, I did not want to move in with him because he was on drugs and alcohol and all of that stuff, drunk and carrying on, wanting to hit people when we go out. I, you know, I, I can't live like that. And if these, if the, and this was, this is between Richard and I, but I noticed that even my manager told me that Richard was planning and I think he was trying to tear me down, trying to force me to live with him. Cause Richard talked to me just two weeks ago, about, about a month ago and says, Carla, I want to take care of you. Now, do you think I'm going to trust living in the house with him after he's done this? And Joyce was all for me moving in with Richard and getting with Richard. She was for it. And Rick, Rick Fisero, and Mike, and Jim. So, isn't that a little odd, you think, Carl? Isn't that? These people mean me or my kids are no good. My poor kid. You know, you know, Carl. Right now, I'm just too sick to even think about it. But I'm going to say this: I'm going to possibly have to call you in for a witness. You do know that. Okay, good. And I'm gonna in our, our next conversation, I'll probably have to record and then call you in for witness because I think the only way we're gonna do this, if this case goes to trial, like with the ticket miss, I mean, come on, they they set me up. It's it's clear I was set up. And listen, if you look at your Facebook page, okay, there's a whole bunch of people on your side. I know it is. And I, you know, and I, I don't, you know, it hurts me that these people I grew up calling my family would remotely talk to me in that way. It's just, you know, I just, I want my money. I just want to go. I just want to get away. I don't want to even deal with them. And I think it was the grace of God, the reason I'm even here, that got me out of Texas. Because I think Texas is where it all started. So, Carl, yes, um... I have your permission to use um, conversations we had for evidence. Okay, conversation and, and taped conversations for evidence. Thank you, Carl. I appreciate you are in my corner. Then that means that reporter has either been spooked or he was a plant because right now his number has changed. Now, that's kind of odd now, isn't it? Yep. Well, you know, it's all going to come to a head. I can get him. I still have a signed uh, contract with him. I can get him on that. So I don't. I don't think he was a real. Re I think he was a reporter, but I think it's more to it. You know, he says not the Clinton. Some people says not the Bush. I just want to be left alone. And you know, I, I I really just want the Williams to stay. I, I told them blatantly tonight. I got into a terrible fight with with Portia. And I just said, you know, we can clear all of this up. Just stay the hell out of my life. Just don't come around me or my children. I, I don't want I don't I, I don't even want to be a part of you people. I mean, why be a part of a group of people who's trying to tear you down? Does that make any sense? Come on, I'd be out of my mind to do that. So, you know, I just don't want to be a part of them. And you know, it's just, you know, when people do wrong. They run, and George don't know. I don't have any grudges on her. I just don't want, don't want anything to do with her. That's it. I just want to get on with my life. Enjoy what I've got, got left of it. So, I'm going to be around a long time. But, you know, if this case goes to trial at the at the courts here in, in Socrates. I'm going to give you some other advice. What? Okay. That is, keep your cool. I'm not. I'm not. I am, but I'm. I'm just. But precisely. I already know that. But Carl, you know, this case goes to trial. You know what's going to happen, don't you? It's going to open up a can of worms. You know that, right? It's already knows of it, but it's going to open up Pandora's box. Because how can a judge? 
take me to put me in jail for expired license. I'm telling them I'm in isolation and it was about my life. And he's going to try to say, no, I says, no, I was advised to do this. I was advised to this. The FBI probably trying to get some information and blah, blah. And he doesn't want to hear it. He can't just put me in jail. He ha There has to be a trial. And if he's related to some of the people that's in this, it's illegal for him to even hear that case. It's illegal. Last question. How did your license get suspended? How do you think I'm isolated? I'm not licensed. I'm licensed in a different state. I haven't moved my, my residence out of Massachusetts. I huh? I got you. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm here. They, they, this is exactly what they wanted. I'm here. They know what they've done. I, I just got to play smarter. But everybody I'm going to for money is not giving me money. They're like afraid. I need at least... Fifteen hundred dollars to get my license, get back to Massachusetts, and to take care of some things. So that means they're getting to people too, aren't they? Aren't they? But Carla still has to have a trial. He just can't put me in jail for that. If he does, that'll be an uproar. There has to be a trial. No, he can't. There has to be a trial. Huh? A fine. Uh, fine, and I want a trial. A I want a trial, but it shouldn't be anything because I drove because of my life. My life. I have a. I'm in a life-threatening situation, so it was a reason for that. But am I right? Yep. That's right. So, and I told you that night. I told you, Carl. I got to get out of here. They're trying to isolate me. Can't you recall it? I said, I feel like they're going to try to do something. I got to get out of here as soon as I can. I have no money. So, all right. Okay, Carl, I'll be getting in touch. I'm just ready to get this. You know what? If they're smart, they just let this whole thing come to a head and get beyond it. Am I right? Yeah. That's right. Because they know I'm not going to stop. So, so the cameras are in my bedroom too, you think? Cause, cause, uh, Clefstead said, to, well, hold on a minute. Clefstead said, hold on. Clefstead said something to me. Hold on. Clefstead said something to me. He says, when I said something, I said, somebody said something about my intimate details. And then he says, get the cameras out of your bedroom. That's what he says. Said. Clefstead, maybe Clefstead is not as much as my enemy as I think he is. Maybe he's being used too. How do you know he isn't being used? I want to say something else to you. Go ahead. They don't have to have the cameras in your house. You got satellites. If they want to see whatever you're doing, they can do it to satellite. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Why, why can't they just leave me? Uh, Carl, you know what? I'm trying everything I can to, to keep my cool. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm praying, and I just feel like God is not hearing me, but I know he is because I'm still here. I just want these people out of my life. I just, I want them all out. I want nothing to do with these people. Nothing at all. Think about something else. This what? is Easter weekend. Think about the suffering that Christ went through, and everything they tried to do to him. If they could do that to him. What the heck do you think they will do to us? That's right. Amen to that. Amen to that. I mean, we're in our last days. I just can't wait for Jesus to come back. I really can't. I, I just really, it, it'll be a, a day of rejoice for him to come back. It's just, the, the, people have gotten worse. It is. It's just, we live in a very, very sick society. So. Well, all right, honey, it's getting worse. So anyway, no, I'm going to, I'll be probably calling you for um, a test of testify. And I just want to get this over with. You know, I want to get it over okay. with and get on with my life. Carl, I think that'll be best no, for everybody. Uh, but, but but Carl, it would be best for everybody. Even Peter, Rick, Jim, it, let's just get it over with. Get it over and done with. I just want to get on with my life. But is it possible these men became obsessed and just wanted to control me? That's what I was told. They wanted to, they wanted, of men. so these men w were mad because they couldn't control me and they wanted me and they treated me this way. Why? Because of who I am, the color of my skin, or is it a combination of it? It's just the fact that they're men and 
you're a woman, and it's around the world. But the color of my skin has something to do with it. Racism is playing a role in it. I was told that it would have to, Carl. I think racism is playing a role in it. Oh, I know it is. They're all Caucasian men. They're all Caucasian men after one woman. Come on. Trying to tear me down. That's what the slave sl slave masters did to African slaves years ago in the 1800s. That's what I was talking to you about before. All right, Carl. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here. I just, I'm, I'm, I've had it. I got you. All right, then. Calm down. I will. All right, Carl. All right. Okay. So the Williams are trying to sell. The Williams don't mean me any good then. If they were, if they would do that, they couldn't. Carl, come on. And this this Porsche who's saying these things to me goes for a preacher. A preacher. She kept saying, "What's your doctor's name? What's your doctor's name? Let me call the hospital. What's your just repeating herself repeatedly? That's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it?" Oh my goodness, what kind of family did I grow up around? She just re kept well, repeating. She just kept repeating herself, just repeating and repeating and repeating. And I says, all, all I wanted to know is what happened as a child. And I don't need to know this just drastically. Jaja almost told me this. And I said, apparently it's something that someone did to me because, and my memory is repressed for a reason. It's probably to protect me. And I said, it must have been something God awful. And the only thing she kept saying, what's your doctor's name? What's your doctor's name? She didn't hear it. Every time I told her, I said, well, Portia almost died. They over medicated me just like they did Marilyn Monroe. I said, I could have died. I said, the emergency room doctor saved my life and told me I was lucky to be alive. And she kept saying, what medicines are you on? That's pretty evil, isn't it? That's pretty evil, isn't it, Carl? Be honest, isn't it? God, I'm so glad I'm, I'm away from them. I am so, Jesus, I just ask for you to protect me and my children. But something's, something has got to break with this, Carl. It has to be. You know that. So it has to. I just won't. I, I mean, these men all had their chances. They messed up. I don't want them in my life. I mean, I don't. I just I want to get on with my life. I mean, is that asking too much? No. So, you know, Carl, I've, if, if you say walk away, I've walked away. I walked away when I put Jim out of my house. I walked away when I got by myself for years. I walked away. They just keep doing things. I really think Peter and Jim were the two that used Mike. I do. I think Peter and Jim. Huh? I, I said okay. Because they wanted me out of Massachusetts because I had filed that conspiracy with intentions to commit to, to kill me, to murder me on both of them. That's why they wanted me out. But, you know, to let them tell it, Jim was with me for 18 years. But to let Jim tell it, he loved me to, li to like there was no end. To let Peter tell it, he cares for me so much. So a person proves their love, you know. I don't, I, I, I don't want that kind of love. I don't. All right, Carl. Thanks, son. All right. We'll be talking again. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.